What's going on everyone? I'm Shri Kanase and welcome to the first part of the series tutorial. And in this series, we're gonna be creating a whole new Shopify store and I'm gonna be going over the exact strategies I use to create my own stores and the tweaks that I do on my own stores which allow them to have such a high conversion rate and end up being profitable in the end. So before you begin watching this video, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And let's just jump right into it. So I have AliExpress open here and for the first part of this series, I'm going to be going over niche research. I'm going to be showing you how I do my niche research and how I find the perfect niche in a small amount of time to start for my own Shopify stores. So I have AliExpress opened up here and what I'm also going to do is open up Google Trends because that's also something I use in order to do niche research. So let's just open that up really quick. Google Trends. And here it is. All right, so let's go back to AliExpress. So whenever I'm beginning a brand new Shopify store, what I like to do is just come on AliExpress and look up all of these ideas, all of these categories on the left. These are all potential niche ideas that you can do for your own stores. And I just like to scroll through some of these categories and see what kind of products are out there and what kind of categories are out there and go further from there. So let's just scroll through and see what kind of categories we can find. So there's the automobiles and motorcycles, home improvement tools, health and beauty, jewelry watches. I like to stay away from electronics because there's a lot of problems with the electronics that come from China and they have a chance of just not working after a few days or weeks. So I just like to stay away from it just to avoid the chargebacks on all the frustration. But cell phone and accessories, again, something I avoid. Let's do home and garden and furniture because you have a higher potential of selling high ticket items in this niche. So once we choose that, let's just scroll through these subcategories and see what we can find. Garden supplies, kitchen, home appliances, household merchandise. Let's go to garden supplies and see what we can find. So just click on the title over there and see what we can find. So there's a lot of cool things. There's some, looks like some bonsai seeds, some plants. Let's go further into niche research and look on the left and see what else we can find. So there's BBQ, watering and irrigation, yard and garden decor, garden buildings. Let's see what garden buildings are. These are pretty cool and it does look like they're somewhat of high ticket or mid ticket. And let's just go back and let's try cabin and garden rooms garden greenhouse let's go back and see what else we can find in this niche so let's go to yard and garden decor that could be a potentially good niche with a lot of high ticket items so this is fifteen dollars let's sort the items by orders and see what's selling the most so it looks like some just decor stuff and some more decor now this does look like it has a lot of low ticket items as well so we're gonna try to find something else this time so there's home and garden. let's try to sort this by orders the main category and see what we can find again the same item so let's go back to home and garden and see home storage and organization that could be a good niche and again some mid ticket items but it does look like there's some high orders for these items so this is a potentially good niche because it does have a competition as you can see and I think let's scroll through again and see what kind of items we can find so just some baggage for this tutorial I think I'm going to go with this specific niche the home storage and organization niche under the home and garden and the main reason I chose this is because there is competition here as you can see 14,000 orders 11,000 orders although it doesn't look like there's a lot of high ticket items but the high amount of orders do tell you that there is competition in this niche which is something that you do want a niche without competition is very hard to gain any kind of profit from such a niche and even though this is like low to mid ticket items we can scroll through and find some more high ticket items in the next part and list those on the website but for this specific series we're going to go with the home storage and organization and as you can see all you had to do was just go through AliExpress and try to find potential categories that you can use to get into a specific niche and I do have Google Trends opened up here so what we want to do now is just copy the name 
over here the main name which is home storage and just paste it in Google Trends and see if it is a trending niche or not so let's just paste it and you want to see in the past four years for this past five years so once we click on that so we can see it has been pretty consistent over time and there's a slight increase over time as well and this is something that you want you want something that's either consistent or has a increasing interest over time and since this is definitely consistent this is a good signal that you should be trying out this niche just because it has a consistent trend line over here now further diving into niches I do have a very cool video on my channel where I go over the top three niches and this niche is not a part of them but definitely do check out that video it'll be linked at the end of this video if you guys are having trouble finding a specific niche but going back to Aliexpress we do see that there are several items over here there are a good amount of orders and it's a consistent niche that has been trending over the past five years so this is definitely the niche that we're going to be diving into and that's all for this part guys stay tuned for the next part where i'll be basically starting the website creation and going over everything that goes into website designing but thank you for watching and make sure to hit that like button i'll see you guys next time